Now, I know this is a really hard question, but if you had to choose your favorite member of One Direction, who would it be? Um, 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 um. Probably Harry. Yeah. Now, you've gotten to meet them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're all really sweet. Yeah. So you've been in Vancouver working on a movie called Swindle with a lot of other Nick stars. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I was working on Swindle with Jeanette McCurdy, Noah Monk, Noah Crawford, Chris O'Neill, and Sierra Bravo. And um, it was a lot of fun. And it's like a heist movie. It's like Ocean Eleven, but for uh, like a younger audience. And it's family friendly, and it's sweet, and it's fun, and um, it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's, uh, it was a really fun project because I'd never done anything action-y before. But I got to do tons of stunts, and um, it was really cool. So you're also working on a show with Jim McCurdy, I heard, called Sam and Cat. Yeah. Now, what is that going to be about? What can fans expect from that? Um, everybody seems to think that it's about babysitting, but it's really just about two girls going on crazy adventures. Like, it's just like Drake and Josh. It's just like Keenan and Kel. It's just about two good friends going through crazy stuff together and um, having a good time. It's fun. Now, you're working on this with Dan Schneider, who also produced Victorious and iCarly. Now, work, what's with working with him like? Is he awesome? Like, is he, like, yeah. strict? He's, he's one of my favorite people on the planet. He's such a nice person, and he's such a chill guy. And he genuinely has a good heart, and um, he cares about his actors and actresses. And, um, and he's funny, like, on the spot. He's really funny. Like, nobody makes me laugh like Dan. But, um... But yeah, I'm so thankful to be working with him for another few years because I, I'm definitely not ready to, you know, go to work at a different place just yet. Now, a lot of his stars have grown up to be huge, you know, a couple are on SNL. Do you see yourself going in a more musical direction or acting direction in the future? Definitely more musical direction. I don't know how much acting I'll do after, after Sam and Cat. Um, like, I love acting as well, but I don't really see myself doing anything that's not musical. So it would, if it were acting, it would be in a musical or in a musical movie or in a musical TV show. Like, like I want to do music so badly, but I love doing acting now. Now, we're here in New York right now, and you tweeted that you love New York. Yeah. And you were in 13, the musical, a couple of years ago. So would you ever want to go back on Broadway? Would you ever consider that, too? Yeah, I would do Broadway again in a heartbeat. I love live theater so much, yeah. And you got to work with a lot of really cool people. Like, you got to meet One Direction and all your cast members. But is there any star that you've met who you've been starstruck by? Yeah, Nicki Minaj. That one threw me for a loop. That, like, was a lot for me. Um, uh... Drake as well. I almost passed out. He like shook my hand. He was like Drake, all smooth, and I was like, "Hey, like, what's up? Like, oh my god, he's so tall too." I was like, "Oh my god!" But yeah, it was it was crazy. Those two threw me for a loop. Now a lot of fans want to know about your hair because you're, it was usually signature red velvet red. So if you went back to Burnett, was that for an acting role or was that a personal thing? It was for I'm um, playing Snow White at the Pasadena Playhouse in December with Neil Patrick Harris and Charlene Tilton. Um, which is going to be a lot of fun, but I, I mean, you know, my fans don't realize I, you know, the red hair isn't me, <laughs> it's Kat, but, um, but it is a part of me now, I've grown to love it, but you know, when it comes to, when it gets to the end of the day, I'm just a little Italian girl from Boca, so, yeah. Now what's coming up? It's good, to, it feels good to be my old self though, like going back to New York with brown hair was like a crazy thing for me. Do you think you'll ever go back to the red hair or do you want to stay brown? Yeah, for Sam and Cat. So you're going to go back to your like original character? Exactly. Now, do people treat you like Cat outside of yeah. working on the set? Yeah, it's funny because sometimes uh, people will come up to me and just like, oh, are you Ariana? Whatever, like, can you do the cat voice? Like, that's a lot of, that's, I get that a lot. I get like, can you laugh like Cat? Or like, can you do the cat voice for me? Like, so it's fun. I'm, I'm really happy that the show has had such a warm, like, family like of supporters that's grown from it you know what I mean so it's amazing to see how well the show is done and how much families love it and it makes me really happy to see like security at the airport be like hey my baby loves you and like you know it makes me really happy to see that families love the show so you have Snow White coming up Swindle Sam and Cat anything else that you'd like to talk about my album actually I'm almost done we just I think I'm 99% sure I found the single that will be coming out and um, yeah it's just it's been such a crazy adventure working on my album because I've changed directions like 
I haven't really changed directions that many times. Like I decided on one, and then it started to change a little bit, and it's evolved into like my own sound, which is really cool. And um, like I never, I never knew I could have that, like my own sound, and it's just really cool. So I can't wait for everybody to hear it. Now, where can they find you online? Um, Twitter at Ariana Grande, uh, YouTube O oh Snap Atari, which is O oh Snap I T Z A R I. It looks like O oh Snapitzeri. It's like the weirdest thing. And Facebook.com slash Ariana Grande and Instagram Ariana Grande.